Hey everyone, Jacob here. As we've been teasing for a week now, we're going to be adding a new host to Cartoon Conspiracy. Don't worry, nobody's going anywhere. I'm still gonna be around. We're just adding somebody new. And I gotta say, they're pretty cool. And I'm not even going to keep you in suspense as to who it is because they're going to be tackling this week's conspiracy. Now, without further ado, here's Justin, also known as Stuff with Scoutfly. Take it away. I'm Justin with Channel Frederator, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the widespread theory that Donkey is actually a human trapped inside of a donkey's body. What? I know what you guys are already thinking, how can this be? Well, we're going to tell you how, so strap down your tinfoil hats, because it's time for a cartoon conspiracy. So how did this thing really start? Well, it's been floating around the internet for quite some time now, but was organized by Reddit user Jeremy V. See, Shrek is a film series that's heavily based around fairy tales, and even Shrek himself is from a William Stieg book that was written years and years ago, but apart from that, we also have the three blind mice, the three little pigs, the gingerbread man, and Donkey. But what fairy tale is Donkey from? So the theory suggests that Donkey might actually be from Pinocchio's story. See, in Pinocchio, there's a group of kids that are sent off to a place called Pleasure Island, but the experience is a lot less than the name would suggest, and spoilers for the 70 plus year old animated film, Pinocchio. So while the group of people is sent off to Pleasure Island, they are turned into donkeys. Yes, donkeys, it sounds absolutely crazy, but what if one of the donkeys from Pleasure Island made their way over into Shrek's land. Well, there's actually a lot of information that sort of points to this being pretty believable. The first thing that points to this theory being pretty believable is the fact that in the scene where all of these characters are being transformed into donkeys, they can talk. And just not a few of them can talk, they all can talk. They just have to learn how to control the ability within their newfound body. After the characters are transformed into donkeys, they are then led into cages with special signs on them that say where they're being sent to. So what if Donkey, our donkey, was actually transformed from a human, then led into a cage and had a sign on it that said Shrek Swamp? It's completely possible. So then the scene continues and Jiminy Cricket is also there and he remembers that Pinocchio is there as well and he's like, oh, all of these characters are being transformed into donkeys, I can't have this happening to Pinocchio. So they run around, they meet up, they find each other and Jiminy's like, hey, all of these characters, you know, they're donkeys, we can't have this happening to you. And then Pinocchio sprouts ears, he's already kind of looking like a donkey, so they're like, hey, we gotta get out of here, and they make their big escape. So with that on my mind, the second piece of information that leads towards this theory being a little bit more believable is in Shrek 1. So remember when I said that in Pinocchio, donkeys can talk? Well, in Shrek 1, there is a scene where an old woman is trying to get rid of Donkey, and she says that he can talk, but no one believes her. It's almost completely ludicrous that a talking donkey could be in Shrek's land. It's really weird actually because in Shrek other characters other than humans can talk. I mean ogres, there's even a gingerbread man. I mean why is a talking donkey so out of the ordinary here? In Pinocchio the characters that get transformed into donkeys have the ability to talk and they do. They just have to learn how to control it over time and it's not out of the ordinary there. But in Shrek it is and once again this is the movie where a guy has a conversation with a gingerbread cookie. I mean why is it that crazy? At this point, it really does look like Donkey isn't from Shrek's land. Could he be from somewhere else? Possibly. In the scene with the old woman, there's also a sign that reads on screen, Wanted, Fairy Tale Creatures, Reward, and Donkey is there with all these other fairy tale characters. He's even standing in front of Pinocchio in the line, possibly hinting to the fact that he could be from a fairy tale. I mean, why would he be there if he wasn't? He must be a fairy tale character. Like I said, he's even standing in front of Pinocchio, possibly throwing more variables into the situation. It's interesting. I feel like DreamWorks is just really playing with us here. There's a lot of info in Shrek 1 that really points to this theory, but it doesn't stop there. In Shrek the Third, there's also a scene where the main characters are heading to a school, and Donkey brings up some information from his past that's a little bit questionable. He brings up the fact that he went to a school, he brings up the fact that he was bullied and wore underwear. So, unless DreamWorks is building in all this crazy backstory where there's a land of civilized donkeys living in perfect peace and harmony, wearing human clothes and attending school, I don't see how he couldn't have been a human at some point. And actually, that sounds pretty good. Donkey spin off anyone? Shrek the Third plays a really interesting role in this whole timeline because also as the movie continues, there's a scene where Donkey and Puss in Boots swap bodies and while Puss in Boots is in Donkey's body, he keeps uncontrollably hee-hawing and he can't really control his limbs that well. 
So Donkey in Puss's body turns over to Puss and says, hey, you'll learn to control that. And I don't understand how Donkey would know that he or anyone else would get to control that or have to control that at any point in his life or their lives if he wasn't a human at some point, right? If we just stop and think about this for a second, it makes the story all the more interesting. If we think back to Pinocchio when the donkeys are in the cages and being sent off to specific places, well, when Donkey was being sent off to Shrek's land, could he have been possibly learning to gain control of his limbs and his new voice in his newfound body? It seems kind of likely. As this theory progressed through time, a lot of people have been trying to dissect it and pick it apart, and Reddit user Big End actually said that, you know, in Shrek 2, when they drink the happily ever after potion, why would wouldn't Donkey turn back into a human? Fiona and Shrek turn into humans, so why wouldn't Donkey if he was a human previously? He turns into a horse. Why is this? Why wouldn't Donkey just turn back into a human if he was a human before, right? I mean, it almost seems like this theory is completely broken and shattered, but no. Reddit user Jim607 comes in and says the happily ever after potion doesn't actually turn you into what you were previously, but more along the lines of your more attractive version of yourself. And since Donkey is a donkey at this point, he turns into the noble steed that he's always wanted to be. So how does this theory really hold up? Well, it's not without its faults and there's only really one on hand. The one glaring flaw does go back to the William Steak book Shrek and the fact that there is a talking donkey in the story, but the characters between the book and the movie are completely different and they're just loosely based on the source material. They're not the same. And if we take this a step further, we can see that Pinocchio's first story appearance was in 1883 with the animated film then coming out in 1940. This is technically years and years and years before William Steed book Shrek would be released in 1990. So he could have watched that movie that was released in 1940, drew inspiration from it, and then made the character in his story Shrek. And even if William didn't draw inspiration from the 1940s animated film Pinocchio, the people behind the Shrek film series could have because once again, the book and the film series aren't really that connected other than a few characters, names, and situations. In the book, Shrek can actually breathe fire, is a bully, and has completely different motives than the ones that he does have in the film series, where he's just this kind of lovable goof that's caught in the middle of everyone else's drama. I've seen the Shrek movies quite a few times, and I don't remember Shrek breathing fire at all. I mean, there's a dragon, but that ain't Shrek. With all this information collected, it looks like this theory is pretty believable, and only as time progresses do more things keep popping up, adding to this theory. It's almost like DreamWorks is dropping little story nuggets along the way. It's awesome. It really gets me thinking, could the Shrek holiday specials, the Puss in Boots movie and TV series, as well as the absolutely dreaded and terrifying musical add to this story? Maybe. We're just going to have to wait and see as more time passes and more Shrek films are released. Could Shrek 5 in 2019 be a donkey origin story? Maybe, that sounds actually pretty good. Get Eddie Murphy back in the booth, get him to record some lines as donkey, even maybe give him his own movie, huh? I mean, that just sounds like an automatic hit on your hands, and if we're looking at this, it doesn't look like DreamWorks is too afraid to kind of take some chances because... The musical. Yeah, it, it exists. But going back to the theory, everything that's really been trying to shoot down everything that's involved with this has been counteracted by something that's also happened within the Shrek timeline, and it wouldn't surprise me if DreamWorks actually wanted this thing to be canon at some point, and if it's not already, I mean, use this. It's fantastic. If they didn't actually mean for Donkey to do or say any of these things, they could just play that off and never release that and just be like, yeah, it was, uh, it was the plan all along. It just happened naturally, and honestly, that's kind Kind of better in my opinion. I feel like it's a pretty safe bet on a mini series or full movie just starring Donkey as well as having a few other characters that we know and love in the background or maybe even just a part of the next Shrek film. And since it's a fan theory, viewers are going to come out of this and approve of it. It's not like they're going to hate it. Shrek is a baseline for so many different stories so if it's not in the cards already, I don't see why it isn't and why not just have fun with it. And speaking of Shrek being a baseline for a lot of different stories that can be told, researching this theory kind of felt insane seeing how many different stories and characters do actually play into Shrek. I don't think you're ready for this. So get ready. We have all of the Shrek films, Puss in Boots, the movie and TV series, the absolutely dreaded musical. Why do I have to keep bringing this thing up? Pinocchio, Snow White, Three Little Pigs, The Gingerbread Man, Three Blind Mice, Robin Hood, Alice in Wonderland, Goldilocks, Cinderella, The Pied Piper, The Frog Prince, The Little Mermaid, King Arthur, Rumpelstiltskin, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Rapunzel, Humpty Dumpty, Jack and Jill, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Red Riding Hood, Santa Claus, and the legend himself, 
Simon Cowell from American Idol. Yeah, there's no way I could have I could have remembered all that. <laughs> I mean, I've seen all of the Shrek movies and Puss in Boots as well as the TV series, and I had no clue that even half of those characters were in or even involved with Shrek. It's really crazy how much they pack into these movies. It's insane. With all those crazy connections and different variables that all of those characters and stories add to the Shrek timeline, I wouldn't completely write this theory off because it could be already or maybe will be canon sometime in the future. And with all the research that fans have done as well as myself, I would have to rate this theory 5 out of 5 waffles. Yeah, it's too believable not to buy into it. But that's just what I think and we want to know what do you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below with your rating and what do you think of this theory? Is it believable or is it just another fairy tale? And as well as you're down there, don't forget to leave your recommendations and suggestions for other theories that we should cover here on the channel in the future. Subscribe to Channel Frederator for future videos and click that little bell icon to become part of that awesome notification squad. Until next time, I'm Justin and don't forget, Frederator loves you. I actually have Shrek on the uh, on the GBA right there. Shrek 1 and 2. I, I, why? I, I don't know.